and welcome to Grandad's Reviews. It's time for an upgrade. My Alienware R7 is getting a bit uh, old now and I thought it was time to upgrade the graphics card. So it's got the GTX 1070 in it and I'm going to put in an RTX 3060. I've got this one by KFA2. It's one that's available and it was a sensible price. So what we're going to do is fit it in here. But unfortunately, the power supply isn't powerful enough. So we're going to have to upgrade the power supply. So we've got power supply and a graphics card. Right, so as you can see, this is the uh, computer. And I've got to change the uh, power supply first. Take that one out first. And I've got this one here to take out. That's the power to graphics card. And that was the power to the optical drive. What else have we got? And we've got power to the hard drive to take out as well. Hard drive power out and out. This block connector here. That's out. Let's get the graphics card out of the way, shall we? Uh -huh. Just lifts up. Take the graphics card out. Like right, so. One graphics card out. And now we can see what we're doing. So we've got that block connector there. This one here, P2. To that right one in there, get that out, bring that up. So that should be the power supply free. What I'm going to do is unscrew it. I think we need to take this one off. Oh, let's screw this power supply in. I don't know what the other one was. 406. Yes, yeah, so it was only a 460, so that was no way going to handle anything. that bit in. Now let's see what cables we've got. Right, so we've got that one. That's a two, four, six, eight pinner. I think that's going to be. Right, so we've got power supply in. We've got it connected up. All we've got to do now is put graphics card back in. So here's our graphics card and now we've just got to uh, fit it. Stand. What we're going to do 
Just tidy up our cables. back on and let's see if it works all right so let's have a look at what my GTX 1070 can do I've got some h265 footage on in Premiere Pro out of my Fuji X-T3. Let's add Cinema Grade to it. Uh, cinema Grade is a way of grading the footage. And as you can probably hear, my uh, fans are uh, going nuts. Alright, and let's just find a spot to do the grade. About there, yeah, so we'll use that as our grade. So uh, a bit of contrast for a start. Yeah, I think we can leave it at that. Let's try an effect that is GPU. So uh, well, let's stick a Gaussian blur on. And we'll blur it. Right, let's blur it 50%, shall we? We will stick warp stabilizer on. GPU still at 5%, CPU at 100. Stabilizing. There we go. Head home. And we'll press play. 26% utilization there. So if we switch everything else back on, oh, 93% on the GPU. And it didn't really run. Right, so what we'll do is we'll export that. So we'll match source, high bit rate, let's change the bit rate up, let's do it at 20, so 20 there, 12 megabytes, let's see how long it takes to export, I'm going to stop what's going, and 3, 2, 1, Have a look. GPUs at eighty nine percent, eighty eight percent. Eighty seven percent. And twenty sec twenty twenty one seconds. It took me twenty one seconds. So now we've got the uh, RTX thirty sixty M. Let's uh, just see how it uh, plays through. I've extended the clip to 20 seconds again. We've got optical flow on, uh, warp stabilizer on, we've got the uh, cinema grade on, and we've got that Gaussian blur. So let's uh, see. And yeah, all right, it's dropping some frames, but uh, only 152. It's using a lot of this 100% on the GPU and then down. I'm not losing many frames. It's certainly a lot better than it was with the other one. All right, so let's cut this back down to where it was. Let's uh, export it and see how long it takes to export that. So we've got it hardware encoding, max and depth. Got it on 20 megabits a second. Uh, it's in 4K. So what we'll do, put the timer on it. We knew it was 21 seconds before. So what we'll do is we'll hit export. And the timer at the same time. And the GPU's being used. Remember it was 21 seconds before. Uh, 16 seconds that came out at. So 
So four seconds quicker on that one. So yeah, it has made a difference. It's made a difference on it scrubbing through the timeline. If you enjoyed the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up and a like. That'll help the channel. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, see you later.